moving transmission. 2003 Jeep Liberty. Removing transmission. Disconnect your battery terminal. Because you have to remove the starter. And that way you're not arcing anything. Gonna have to remove this pipe here. Drive shaft. Cross member. This skid plate. Drive shaft. You're gonna have to take transfer case off. Disconnect your lines there and all your plugs on there. Make sure your fluid's drained. I dropped the pan earlier, drained all the fluid out of it. Here's your cables you're going to disconnect and some of your other plugs. Now the cross pipe off, white pipe off. Took the cross member out. Default brake. Had to get them replaced, drill them out. Had to take that bolt out. Pull and drive shaft out. I gotta separate it here. I drained the transfer case. When we're moving the drive shafts. Be careful not to mess those up. Separate the joints. You need to take care if I tap on with a hammer. I get a screwdriver in there to pry it out. But you have to be gentle so you don't bend those caps. take the transfer case off so I'm going to be using it. I unplug these plugs. These here tabs are pushed in here like that. I just use the tool to pry them out. I'll take this bolt out so I can take the dipstick tube out. Disconnect the lines there. I still have to take the torque converter bolts out and trans the starter and all the belt bolts. Got that removed. Pulled that off. I brought it down. That grom is no damn good. That's gonna disconnect from the transfer case and you're not gonna be able to get it in and out of four-wheel drive when you need it. Sometimes you can just get these grommets, other times you end up getting a whole cable. Transmission mount off. I'm gonna pull these bolts out. It's like, oh wait, I wanna take these bolts out. These here bolts. So I can remove the transfer case. These here. Not these. Leave these on. Unless you get a, a rebuilt one, this will probably be on the junkyard transmission. If you get a rebuilt one, you'll need this piece off too. Because it probably won't come with the rebuilt transmission. Alright, I removed all those. I left the one nut on there. So it doesn't fall on the ground. You see it's loose now. So I can pull that off. Slide it off the shaft. Yeah, the transfer case on the ground. Put the nuts back on it so I don't lose them. 
see. Here's the rear seal for the transmission. You may want to replace that if you're, you know, for another reason in case you're putting a transmission in or you're putting a used one in. If you're putting a used one in, I recommend replace that seal, put a new seal in it on the replacement one. Obviously not the one you're taking out. Remove the starter bolts. Starter's loose now. Had to take these bolts out of the bell housing. Damn. Now you can see the torque converter bolts. Brackets back there laying. I have this on the transmission jack and it is tilted pretty hard but you have to be careful not to tilt it too hard because the plastic intake will hit the firewall and you break the intake you won't have a good time then but the one bell housing bolt is back there the starters in the way so after the starters out of the way you can get that bolt out and the other ones get your torque converter bolts out and I think I'm ready to pull this thing out then after I get the torque converter bolts out and the bell housing bolts, I can pull this thing out and start on my next one until I get the transmission. Put the socket on the crank so you can turn it to get to your next bolt. See, so I got the one out. Now I have to turn it so I can get the other ones out. may need a jam bolt to put on there in case the line's too tight and it don't want to break loose for you. Go get someone to hold your camera for you. I know! I know, I should. I need a cameraman. So they can see the wondrous things that can be done. Alright, I took that bolt out, disconnected the lines, I got my bell housing bolts up there, I didn't take out yet. That one right there holds this, so after I get that one out then I can pull this out. And you can see the other ones up there, I'm going to zip about. This thing will be real. And it's out.